Welcome to Table Talks. In this video, we are going to look at one of the terms used in projectile motion, and this term is called horizontal range. Now, uh, what is horizontal range? On our diagram, we are seeing that horizontal range is this distance between the point of projection, is the horizontal distance between the point of projection and the point where the projectile lands on the ground through the point of projection. So we can define horizontal range and say that this is the horizontal distance. This is the horizontal distance between the point of projection point of projection and the, the point and the point where the projectile projectile lands on the ground through the point of projection through the point of projection that is what we call horizontal range so let us look at the expression for horizontal range. Expression for range. R. Now, for horizontal range, we are going to consider the distance that is covered in the horizontal distance. And uh, we are going to use our expression from S is this is now sx is equal to ut uh, plus a half uh, g t squared now pay attention our horizontal distance on our diagram we have called it r then we also said that uh, the component of the initial velocity should be equal to u cos theta now the time taken to move from here up to here, we say it is capital T. Therefore, we are going to use capital T here times capital T plus a half times zero times T squared. Now, why is the G come becoming zero? We say that for horizontal motion, the acceleration is zero. So this tells me that the horizontal range R is equal to U cos theta times T. That is uh, our expression. But we have just showed that capital T is equal to 2 U sin theta out of G. That is what we show when we are looking at the expression for time of flight. So what does this one become? This one means that our R is equal to U cos theta times 2U sin theta out of G. Let us rearrange. And uh, this U times U becomes U squared, then 2 sin theta cos theta out of g but this is what you should know that uh, from mathematics or from trigonometry 2 sin theta cos theta is the same as 2 as the same as sin 2 theta so this tells us that our horizontal range here is got from the expression u squared sin 2 theta out of g this is the expression for horizontal
horizontal range. We use that expression to get it horizontal range. Now, uh, if you want to shoot something and you want it to move maximum distance, for maximum distance, it means that uh, the whole of this uh, sine theta should be equal to a half. So let us look at what we are calling maximum. Look at what we are calling maximum range. Maximum range. We call it R max maybe. Now, for maximum range, this is what you should know. That for maximum range, for maximum range, uh, sine 2 theta should be equal to 1, implying that theta should be equal to 45 because sine 90 is 1, and therefore the expression for uh, maximum range, R max, is equal to u squared out of g so this tells you that if you want to shoot anything and should cover the biggest horizontal distance as much as possible you must make sure that the arm of projection is it 45 thank you for tuning in to teletalks